Everyone knows that very nice guitar feedback effect like this. God told me to skin you alive. Or another one by the Partisans. This is from Police Story. Both very beautiful effects, but not available to keyboard players. And this has always been a great sadness for me. I mean, you can do things that have a little sort of shadow of that. And you can do the classic... ...delay feedback, but that's more a sort of trepidation that you're about to blow up speakers rather than a nice effect. I think in a lot of cases there's the old resonant squeal. Depending on your type of filter and uh, how it self-oscillates. You can get it to squeal quite well. You could put a bit of nice but it's still not the same but if you were one of the seven or eight people who lasted more than a minute into my long involved video manual on the oceans 11 you would have seen a little bit about the secondary parameters on a couple of the reverb settings where this is pre-delay and this is pre-delay feedback in the secondary mode and if you turn them right up, you get this very interesting squealing effect. So... So, that's feedback, but it's not very pleasant. It's got that empty, metallic, hollow ring to it. And again, not the same excitement as a guitar feedback effect but if we then add in some distortion and this is the uh, roger that from fairfield circuitry which will do its own thing from time to time and now we get this on a quite a pure tone seems to work best with a nice clean waveform we add a little bit of delay into that as well feedback it takes a little bit of finessing to get it to do exactly what you want but that's all part of the fun we can also turn it up for a ear piercingly awful shriek as well of all flavors let's add in some sub oscillator and a bit of detune just for the variation and we can 
put, we've got the LFO very slow, we can put a little bit of FM amount so we get a bit of pitch drift across it. shrieks and squeals. That's got to be good. B3K. Let's see if we can stay playable and squeal. <laughs> 